hello guys what's going on this is arjun and in the previous video you guys have seen the unboxing of this ssd and today i'm gonna show you the installation and the performance of this ssd so this is my pc let's see what's inside i have intel 6th generation i5 6600k cpu 8gb ddr4 kingston hyperx ram gigabyte z170 d3h motherboard and two hard disk drives the one on the top is a two terabyte wd hard disk drive which i use for multimedia purpose and the one on the bottom is a 160 GB Seagate Barracuda 2007 model which I use as a system drive. So today I am replacing my system drive with this latest 860 EVO SSD. I have two built in SSD slots up at the top in my Corsair cabinet. To install SSD you just have to slide your SSD into one of these slots like this and then the SSD will lock automatically after you push it all the way in. Here is my old 160GB system hard drive. As I told you before, this is a Seagate Barracuda 7200.10 model which is very old and slow. It is also very heavy and big as compared to the SSD. The reason why they are heavy and big is because hard drives contain moving parts which includes ARM and disk which rotate at very high RPM. On the other hand, in SSDs there is only a single slim chip which uses cells and resistors to store data and as there are no moving parts SSDs are very silent now let's put the screw in the screw hole so that it fit tightly into its place now it's time to attach the cables to the SSD the cable with the big connector is a power cable and the cable with the small connector is a SATA connector which transfer data between CPU and SSD now let's turn on our system The left side window shows the booting process with the older system hard drive and the right side window shows the booting process with the SSD installed as a system drive. As you seen on the right side windows is up and running while on the left side operating system is still loading. Now previously after windows is started I have to wait on the desktop for around 1 minute before opening any app because other background processes take time to load but in case of SSD everything is lightning fast. Now applications are launching instantly. Here I am not talking about numbers because they are different in different situations. So this is the performance difference between the hard disk drive and SSD and it is very huge. So that's the reason why I choose SSD over SDD for my system drive. This is the benchmark scores of board drives. So guys this is it. I hope you like this video and if you do please give thumbs up it means a lot to me and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until then that's been it. Talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.